as you want to sing higher, sometimes it's really helpful to alter the vowels just a little bit in order for it to make, to make it more singable and to make it more resonant. Okay, so let's demonstrate. I want to demonstrate here. So when I'm singing in high chest voice or starting the belt out high, I have the option of either just keeping the vowel how it's been, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I could still keep it in ah uh, and just alter it a tiny bit. So the ah uh on the top, I could either go yeah or yeah. Too narrow. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it really helps to have it lifted a little bit more, mm, let's say, in the back of your tongue. So it, it gives you a little bit more gritty and pingy sound or twangy. So instead of going, for example, eh, eh is really difficult. So instead of going, sometimes you may want to go more nah instead of nah. And for example, on the closed vowels, on e and e, and ooh, you can change it sometimes just a little bit to where it's just a little bit more open or a little bit more close. So, ooh, 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 ooh. See, I can make different shapes. What I want to do is just really influence the amount of ring in the tone, and you can. So instead of you can play on broken strings, I could go. Uh, you can play on broken strings. The all is a little bit more narrow and it doesn't give me as much ring, which means I usually compensate by pushing harder because the tone isn't as full. But if I make it more full and more ringy, more overtones, by altering the vowel just a little bit, I can just prevent myself from pressing against my vocal cords just because there's already a full sound coming out. So you can play on broken strings, you can feel anything. So on the E, feel, not very ringy, very throaty, feel, feel, E, E. See how I'm altering this just a little bit? That's back in my throat. Feel, feel, feel. Feel. See how I can change that around? By changing the vowel, you're going to make it easier to sing higher. Also, you're kind of getting out of the way of the sound. It's almost like sometimes when you're too narrow and tight at a certain spot in your throat, it's almost squeezing off your sound. So you want to stay open and nice and resonant. You have to experiment because it really depends on the vowel and the pitch in combination, it will totally change which way you can alter it. I just wanted to demonstrate to you that sometimes when you can't get a high pitch, the problem isn't necessarily just how high the pitch is, but maybe you can help yourself a little bit by just altering the vowels a little bit. All right, always remember to warm up. The link is below for the five minute warm up. Get it. And if you want a very extensive warm up, you can go to my website, masteryourvoice.tv and download a 30 minute free vocal warm up with a checklist that goes with it. Um, and other than that, I would love to see you in my Facebook group. It's called Master Your Voice uh, because we could carry on the conversation there and you could show me what you're doing. Every Thursday, I ask everyone to post videos of themselves singing. So, all right, until tomorrow, always keep on singing. Thank you.